Hi, I'm Rachel Steele with KPIP's Local Voices, and with me today is Dr. Joe Geist, and we are in Gallery One with the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art in the Classic Hall building, and this month we've got a special treat during Black History Month. We've got an exhibit of African American works to show. And now we're in Gallery One and continuing our work to work our way from gallery one to gallery two, but some of the most famous paintings are on this first wall that you walk into gallery one, you'll see them on your left. Can you tell me a little about, about the art pieces and the artists that created them? Yes, I can very easily. Uh, as I say, we, uh, we've we been collecting uh, works uh, by black artists for 20 years now, but uh, on this wall here, we have uh, names that uh, are nationally known. Romare Bearden, which is probably the most famous name that I can throw at you this today. Here is a uh, color screen print uh, called Two Women that was in 1981 by Romare Bearden. Uh, it's very colorful. Uh, it's, it, it's kind of the centerpiece of this wall. I want you to know that. The two figures painted, yeah. one's head is purple and the other one is entirely purple. Dresses are like patchwork dresses, mm -hmm. like almost like quilts uh, in terms of their, uh, their dresses. Uh, bringing out many colors, uh, which uh, Bearden was famous for in terms of his many paintings that are in major museums throughout the country. The other important artist here is a, a small uh, lino cut by Elizabeth Catlett called In the Fields that was done in 1947. Uh, this is a piece uh, that was done by Elizabeth Catlett uh, in the middle of her career, so to speak. Uh, she ended up living in Mexico, uh, died at the age of 96 uh, when she, uh, uh, in, in 2012. We might died. mention this is Mexico, not Mexico, Missouri. Well, of course. Uh, <laughs> we always have to make that distinction while we're in this particular world of Missouri. Mm -hmm. We have also on this wall, two pieces came from uh, artists that actually was at one time assistant superintendent of schools in Los Angeles, moved to Boonville, Missouri, where she taught at the University of Missouri for a while. And while she was living here in mid-Missouri, we uh, she was always painting. We have pieces by her, one called the Amen Corner, uh, which is acrylic on canvas, which she did in, um, we bought it in 1988, goes way back in our career. The other piece, called The Clown, which she did in 1998. But if you look at these two pieces by Vanetta, you can see she's a, really a, an artist that uses a lot of color. The one called, the one painting called The Men, The Amen Corner uses globs of paint, almost like Van Gogh, uh, if you look at them, uh, big, uh, Really a, a big puzzle there. Uh, lots but, of texture. Uh, lots of, yeah, very much so. But she wants to capture that moment in a black church where the people are in the, uh, uh, in the uh, standing up and sitting down and yelling, amen, amen, to the preacher, which is called the amen corner. Every, every black church uh, that I know of has an amen corner. And this is what Vanetta was trying to capture here in this piece. On this wall also are a couple of paintings by works done by two students of ours who were English, uh, pardon, me, pardon me, I mentioned English because I used to be an English professor, but these are art majors that were done in 2000, uh, or they uh, actually, uh, they graduated from Central in 1984, uh, Alvin Hudson and Charles Brodus. They were both art majors, and we have a few examples of the works from their senior show when they were art uh, uh, students here uh, in, in the 1980s. So let's you go. in the gallery's credit, they are very good. And gallery two is just as you walk in the gallery, go straight forward, and you'll see all of these beautiful works from the Ashby Hodge Gallery collection. Now, tell me about this group of paintings here. This, of course, uh, these uh, one, two, three pieces are by Thomas Hart Benton uh, of high reverence, as you know. Uh, we have uh, two lithographs here, and we have a piece uh, that actually is a gelatone facsimile uh, that was done called Cotton Pickers in Georgia, a uh, very unusual piece, a rather new piece in the collection. The uh, 
The two lithographs we have, one is the famous Frankie and Johnny that really was part of the famous mural at the State House in Jefferson City uh, mm -hmm. in, in, the, in, in the Senate chambers. Uh, we have this great mural that, that uh, depicts legends uh, of uh, life in Missouri. Huck Finn, Jesse James, all those people. And in this one wall in the Senate chamber, we have Frankie and Johnny. We have the, this is probably Thomas Benton's largest lithograph, as far as I know. I think it is his largest lithograph. Uh, usually uh, he does a smaller one, a uh, collection of lithographs, but mm -hmm. this was a very big one. One of the uh, artists that helped him do this magnificent mural at the State House in Jefferson City was an artist that we also have in the, sh in the collection, uh, an artist by the name of Fred Shane. Fred Shane was an artist in his own right. We have this very outstanding piece called the Coon Hunter that came from the Ashby Collection at the very beginning of our art, uh, uh, our art collection back in 1993. Uh, Fred Shane, as I say, was not a student of Benton's, but was a good friend of his, an artist that taught uh, in various schools. He had, when he left. Uh, doing the mural with Benton, he went to Emporia, Kansas, where he was head of the art department at Emporia State. Uh, anyway, that's a great piece. I want to point out over here, one of the first pieces in the collection by the famous Edna Schenk, who graduated from uh, Central in 1935. When she graduated, she went to Boonville and taught for two years before she went on to do bigger and better things throughout the world, uh, both in America and Europe. Uh, she, this is a small little piece called Boonville in the 30s that she did uh, right after she graduated in 1935. She did this watercolor, uh, and it's a precious piece that captures, as I say, uh, a particular low life in the in the Boonville uh, ghetto at the time when she was over there. Very very fine piece. Uh, I want to also tell you we have artists in the collection like Jackson Lee Nesbitt, who was one of Thomas R. Benton's students. Uh, we have over here we have a piece by uh, John Martelli, uh, another good friend of of Benton's. So we have a lot of art in this. Uh, in this uh, gallery, too. I want to point out a few more pieces here by an artist named Jim Miller. We have two pieces by Jim Miller in this particular show. Jim Miller uh, was a famous professor, a theater director, choreographer, costume designer uh, in, at MU. He's now retired. Still painting, though. He's painting in Columbia almost every day, as far as I know. But we, we did several art shows of his during the course of when he was professor uh, of theater at MU. So we have two pieces up by him. Over here we have a piece by another Fayette girl who went to Webster University and, and graduated in art. Uh, she, Lisa Baylor, a piece called A Sitting Portrait, uh, which is a very unusual piece because she uses coffee, oak, charcoal, all on paper in collecting uh, all of this and mixing all this together in her paint to capture this sitting portrait that she did in 2003 as part of her senior show at Webster University. And the last piece I want to point out is a piece that came from, actually came on the collection down of the St. Commercial Paul's. Trust Company, oh, okay. uh, uh, the, the bank downtown, uh, Commercial Bank downtown. Uh, they loaned us this piece, and this is a piece by our beloved Thomas Yancey. It is a drawing that he did at St. Paul's United Methodist Church, which was uh, and is uh, our Afro-American church in, in Fayette. And it's, it's a very fine drawing of their church, and it belongs to the com uh, Commercial uh, Trust Company. And and uh, they asked us if we wanted to loan it. They wanted to loan it to us for this show, which we have. We are open on Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursday afternoons from 1.30 to 4.30. And then I should say that we are uh, open uh, by invitation or by people who ask us to open for a special c a group of people who want to come visit. Uh, we will open almost any time uh, if, we, if we are asked uh, for a special arrangement. Yes. Is there a charge to visit the museum? We are never asking for a charge to come to this 
wonderful gallery. We do suggest at KPIP that you do pop a little donation, and the only request is that you have to sign the book. <laughs> well, we like to we like to sign the book only because it tells you how many people are coming and showing that we are uh, visible uh, in the world of uh, CMU, and that uh, we uh, continue to make uh, uh, make a lot of impressions in the uh, art world in Mid Missouri. And how long does this show run? Uh, this show is up until April. If you look at the postcard, it says April the. Nice. All time to get in and view this wonderful collection at the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art. For KPIP's Local Voices, I'm Rachel Steele on 94.7 KPIP.